Hey everyone, welcome back to Vex TCG. Today I'm just unboxing another item that I just got today. So I just picked this up from 7-Eleven, the, the postal service. And hopefully I get exactly what I ordered. So I ordered from a Taiwan card shop called a JJ Card Shop, I think. They do sports cards and everything, but I'm doing something a bit different today. So let's see. First item we have is Marvel Ages by Upper Deck. Some really sick art on here. We have like three versions of Cap and we have three versions of Wolverine. Shout out Chris Evans and Hugh Jackman. Sealed box. And then also we have one more box. And we have a lovely Marvel annual set. I fit that into the camera. Some awesome art. Um, yeah, 2019 Marvel Annual Set. Uh, seal's broken on this, so it is a sign we should rip this as well. Um, I am thinking that we do this set first. The 2019 to 20 Marvel Annual Set. All right, so we're gonna unbox the 2019 to 20 Marvel annual set. So there are 16 packs here, um, and it says one premium insert per pack. Chase cards in here, I know. Uh, there's some sketch cards that are really nice. Um, I know there's a splash ticular, like cards, they're lenticular cards, so they move around, um, some action scenes. Um, and I believe there's like artist autographs as well, so. Some nice cards in here, but I would really, really love the artist sketch card. Set this up. Ooh. Set this up here. Took a bit of <laughs> technique. Um, and then let's just look at the packs a bit. So it's got Captain Marvel in the front with the helmet outfit. And then we have four as well. So look for creator autographs, lenticulars, holograms and a variety of original art sketch cards. Let's hope we get those sketch cards. I guess I'll half these packs with my partner, eh? Let's see where she goes with that. Uh, once again, Julia has one of the left, so we'll pass the left side to her. They are 16 packs, so it's eight per pack. So I'll take the right, and then I guess we can start. Okay. Let's see, let's see, okay. First time of the Marvels are kind of hyped. I have to do slowly, I didn't cut these all this time. Right, okay. okay. Okay, first card, number 29, Curse, Spider-Man, Valkyrie and his Guardian, Angel from X-Men, a variant tier one, Oh, Whoa, wow. Humble Beginnings. Whoa, that is a nice one. Humble Beginnings Wolverine and then an X-Men. I'm very happy with uh, this one because I actually am a big Wolverine fan. Oh, how does... It does, it does. It does, right? They do fit. First time top loading these. Whoa, that's a nice card. Oh, it's more my thing now. Well, I, I, I've been really into Marvel recently because of um, the Disney Plus movies. Well, not Disney Plus movies, but the Disney Plus shows and Loki has just been a really good show. WandaVision was really good. Oh. Anyway, oh, I see a nice shine. Okay, Carnage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 I don't know why it just went out like that. Carnage. Variant Tier 1, Crescent. And hey, this is really nice. A Marvel Comics. Uh, Deadpool comics. Well, that's a really nice card, and it's a really it's characters I like as well. These are a bit thicker, that's why. Gotta be careful. Okay, we have Earth six one six and Earth TRN five six five. Well, you know you get the joke. So it's a comic and a mix, you know, like the multiverse. 
Gwenpool grew up in a world where superheroes were works of fiction, found in comic books and big budget blockbusters. And I guess it's Gwenpool. So I guess it's also Gwen from um, Spider-Man. Very dope card. Okay. And then we'll finish the pack. The last, they're stuck together. It's really interesting. I guess these are older packs, but this is Doctor Strange. Shout out, shout out, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. And uh, Cumberbatch. And then we have Miss Marvel. And she's going to be in the uh, Marvel movies soon, actually. Okay, that's only two packs. I've been getting some nice hits. But, none of, but we're looking for the annual, the big sketch card. Okay. Oh, these all stuck together. Really interesting. Queen of Angels? Is it because we're in it's in Taiwan? So it's really humid there. Baron Tier 2. Oh! Whoa, that's a spectacular. Whoa, and that's a good one. And then at the back we have X23. Big fan, but that is the Oh no, we're not Whoa, it was a double hitter. Oh. Humble beginnings, Black Widow. Anyway, let's look at the spl splash particular first. That is, should be the hit of the box, but maybe not. Maybe there's even a bit more. Um, can you sleeve this one up here? This is a really good one. We got some, yeah, I mean, RIP to Chadwick Poseman. Such a, a great actor in Black Panther, right? Um, he did so much justice for this role. And then we got Spider-Man here. Whoa. What is this? War of the Realms, number one. With his fellow lords of Midgard, the evil Laufey, king of frost giants, came down to earth to start trouble. Secondary objective to punish his son Loki. And grabbing the tricks to Laufey told his son that he was the biggest regret and swallowed them whole. But I guess Loki had his whole gang with him here. Whoa. Let's go. That is a dope hit. But we can look at that effect here. Oh, that actually. Whoa. Well, I've been getting heavy hits, man. Um, I'm I'm putting this one next to the Wolverine here. Okay. Well, this is a hyped box, man. Um. Well, I, I'm very excited about these boxes. I, I might even. You know, the funny thing about this is. Um, it's really hard to get English cards here, but never mind. I, I, I'll tell the story later. Okay, the Mystic Marvel, Weapon H. Variant Tier 1, Bushwhacker. Oh! Oh! Another Marvel comic, and there's another good one, Earth 616. And then we have Night Thrasher, that, that's like, Night Thrasher, I don't, yeah. I, I don't know who that is, or that's quite the name, but anyway. Whoa, a great comics card here. And it's a popular character as well. The box was around $120, I want to say. I want to say $120. Um, and I'm not sure, but we'll probably, after I review the hits later, um, you'll see the amount that comes up. We have an Avengers Vision. He was really good in WandaVision. Like Paul Bittany, he was really good. Um, we have a Mystic Marvel variant tier one you can see the rarities here julia tier one and oh. then whoa oh. <laughs> create a corner i got what is that what is this ethan stacks writer um uh, anyway well, i'm not gonna flip that over yet i i think so i'm not gonna flip that okay and then we have an avengers hercule okay oh we oh, have stick together it's stuck together what is this? It's stuck. Oh. Okay, we have uh, the Mortal Hulk number one spot. It's a nice card. This is Old Man Quill, so... You know the Old Man Logan story, but this is Old Man Quill, so from Guardians of the Galaxy. It's his signature. The hit of the boss was meant to be Splash Ticular, but... I got three more to go, I got three more to go. I don't think there... Is that a one of one? I don't know. But it's actually his signature. Nice man, 79. Jane Foster, we are gonna see her by played by Natalie Portman in uh, Love and Thunder soon. So then we have 
Craven the Hunter variant tier three. Who did I say? Who did? Who was going to play Craven the Hunter? Um, that crossed my mind. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find that out. Oh, that's the Ghost Rider number one spot, and then Okoye. She was really good in uh, Captain America as well. She was in, not in Captain America. Yeah, she was in the last show with Bucky and the Winter Soldier show, right? Ghost Rider. And then, let's see. These packs are really fun. I'm actually really enjoying this more than the recent Pokemon pack, actually. I need to prepare for sleeves next time. Finally, I got an Iron Man. Tony Stark. Uh, Weapon H, tier one. Whoa, future watch heroes. Cosmic Ghost Rider. Really fun storyline for this guy as well. Uh, yeah, Frank Castle. So the Punisher becomes Ghost Rider in this one. And he's one of the, I think he's one of the people that works for um, Galactus. And then we have a Shadow Spider and Arrow. Lei Ling, she's an Asian superhero. All right. Okay, let me sleeve this one. Oh, you're gonna have a lot of fun, Julia, for these ones. Okay, my last pack. Betty Ross Banner, so uh, Betty Ross, played by Liv Tyler, if I recall. Um, yeah, I guess she becomes this kind of demonic person here. Oh, oh, oh I do not, oh my goodness, I saw the hit. Iceman, very quickly, and another Marvel Comics. Can you just get that one? We do, and this is Swordmaster, and then Moira X. Swordmaster is pretty cool actually, it looks like a Strider Hiryu, but let me combine that from the back. Yeah, yeah, it's similar. Oh, I do like Spider-Man. I am a Spider-Man fan. And Tom Holland is doing him, you know, doing him so much justice. Hopefully we get to see some of these Spider-Man versions in the next um, Spider-Man movie, because since they're opening up the multiverse. Okay, I'll pass it over to Julia. Okay, I'll pass it over, and Julia's turn now. Oh, you're gonna have fun with these packs, man. It's so fun, it's guaranteed hit every back. Oh, okay. We have Echo, Captain Marvel. We have Yulik. I don't know who that is. <laughs> if you guys know, let me know. But I guess there's information on the bottom. We have a variant tier one, the Dryad. I'm not sure if it's variant. And the hit here is oh, we have Luna Snow, a future card here. And then we have Queen of Cinders. Uh, Luna Snow, I guess is a Korean superhero. Uh, she's a, also a K-pop icon. There we go. Okay. Oh, Marvel Knights Daredevil. That's a dope comic. Uh, variant Tier One Echo. Oh. 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 We're getting all the Spider-Man comics. That's so awesome. Like I said, we really hope to see this Earth 928 one in um, the multiverse soon. And then new clones. Oh, and Professor, Professor X. X. Okay. Wally's in the background again. Alright, let's see. Huh. Jean Grey. Do you think we'll get sketch cards too? Not A Black Cat variant free. Seems. And then 
from number one spot, oh. X Men 2019. We have a saber tooth, Wolvie's arch nemesis, Dark Star. And we have a Dark Star. These are really fun packs, man. Champions Brawn Hammer. White Fox. Jean Grey Phoenix. Same card. Oh, different. The tear one. Tear three. Oh, yes! Wolverine! Logan, thank you, Mr. Jackman. Please reprise your role. That's a great one. Mysterio. Oh, this is very interestingly cut. You can see that part other card is still there. Oh, yeah. But Old Man Logan, really, really good comic. And then we have Wolverine Earth 616. Oh, that's a great card as well, actually. Nick, NYK, Valky again, tear free. Tear free, so you can go and grab some. Oh, and. Show me that a star. A future. Look at guess, all these future ones. I guess they're the newer heroes. I guess maybe on the left side. Four. Four? No tear. And Toad. <laughs> it's an X Men. You're having fun. Okay, Malekith. We saw Malekith before in the four movies. Nadia Van Dyne. The Unstoppable Wasp. And who do we have? Humble Beginnings Cat! <laughs> Shout out Chris Evans, you got Cat! Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice Humble Beginnings. And we didn't get any Cat. Oh, well, I'm not sure if we did, but we didn't get a nice Cat. Iron Heart. It's a nice cat. <laughs> okay, last two packs. Armor. Krakow. Curse. Mary Jane, amazing Mary Jane. Kirsten Dunst and Zendaya. Last pack. Last pack magic. And then we can review the hit. Okay, Mary Jane Watson. Hello, Zendaya. Jack O' Lantern. What do we have? Oh, oh Spider Man. Spider Man, oh. number one. Spot. Alright. And we have White Tiger. There's one more card here. One more card? Oh. And who is it? Okay. Ulip. Hmm? Alright. Let me go. Uh, let me review all the hits that we have today. All right, we have a stack of hits here that we can summarize. So for our tier two, we have the Carnage, Iceman, Wasp, and Curse. And these are worth around like just about $4 each. So that should be around $16. We, for our tier three, we have Valkyrie, Jean Grey, Craven, and also Black Cat. And these are around $5 each, I would say. Five to six, but anyway, four of them, that's around $20. And then we have these future silver cards, really good looking cards. Um, actually, surprisingly, these are worth more 
than the rare hits I find. So this is the Cosmic Ghost Rider, very cool card. Uh, Luna Snow, K-pop star, and star. And these are actually around like $15 or $12.50. So around $40, $43 each, $43 in total. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And then there's the number one spots. So number one spot, X-Men, Mary Jane, the Mortal Hulk, it's a pretty cool card. Ghost Rider and Miles Morales Spider-Man. And these are worth like $3 each, that's around 15 bucks. And then we have the comics. So we hope, like I said, hope to see them in the Spider-Man multiverse, Tom Holland, Peter Parker, uh, Andrew Garfield, <laughs> Tobey Maguire. And then we have another comics here. Um, this is, I think all the comics are only around eight dollars. I think even the Wolverine here is a bit cheaper at five bucks. And then with the Deadpool comics, that is around seven bucks, I believe. Um, five or seven bucks. And then the Humble Beginnings, these ones are around five bucks each as well. Only complaint about this right now is just, as you can see, that there's just like, the quality on these aren't the best. You can see like there's a little chip here right away as soon as you sleeve it. So I'm guessing my sleeves aren't thick enough, but um, quality on these aren't the best actually. And then Scar, um, Scar Johansson, Black Widow, that's around five bucks as well. And surprisingly, you can see like even on my, this card on the auto, there's all these chips all around it. Like this is brand new. And I don't think that's from sleeving as it came out of the pack, it was like that. Um, so yeah, the Congratulations Auto, Old Man Quill card by Ethan Sachs. This is only around, around $14, 15 bucks, but it's pretty cool. Um, and then the Splash Ticular, the Lenticular card. Surprisingly, this is only around like five to eight bucks and you only get one per box, but, um, yeah, I think it's actually a good buy if you end up going on eBay and you buy these Splash Ticulars because you have to like pay for a whole box to get these. And one box goes for around, I want to say 120 to 150 um, Canadian dollars. I think you can get them for a bit less, but um, yeah, I know the price is going up and keeping it sealed is probably better. But if you just want to pack a box to rip, I think it's quite fun. Uh, but if you're going to collect and end up, I'll probably just go buy singles. That's what I'm probably going to do to uh, finish the base set anyway. But if you're just buying a box to rip, I think it's still affordable to rip, but like, like, I'm meaning, like, if you buy the single card, um, so you want a few bucks, five bucks, it's probably smarter to buy the Splash Ticulous instead of ch just chasing it through the box. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and go on the chance to win these free packs. Uh, see you guys next time, and next time we will be opening up Marvel Ages.